purchased from a guy out of Portland. It's High Voltage Bowstrings. And he's a newer company, about my age. Uh, his name's Austin Kincaid. He's making a really cool product, um, really cool, neat colors, really cool bowstrings. Has nice equipment that he's recently purchased, and he's making just a high-quality bowstring. And I, I'm a real fan of supporting guys that are local, at least in Oregon. And so he got my business, and I told him I would do a review on it to let him know what I thought about it, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So uh, real quick, some things. The reason I chose this color is because I wanted something that's not going to be too flashy. I'm not a super flashy guy, but... Um, I wanted something that had a little bit of a pattern to it that uh, wasn't too flashy and obviously no peep twist, no stretching, no funny business there. I wanted a good solid bowstring and I didn't want the serving to be black throughout the whole thing because I wanted to keep the pattern as much as possible. So what he came up with was a, was a new color pattern. It's called Cui Verde and it looks really good. I'm really happy with it. It's not too flashy but when you get up close to it you can definitely see that there's something going on with the string and it looks really cool. He used a clear see-through uh, serving here on the cables, so I don't lose the pattern. It is a little bit discolored, but that's what you're going to get with the see-through serving. And uh, it just looks really, really good. So far, um, the, he, it came with the speed buttons and everything, and I have uh, so far shot a, probably about 50 arrows through it. Have had zero peep twist. Um, it's shot very consistent. It's shot uh, the same speed every time, and I have zero complaints about this string so far. So, so far, it's been a great string. It's going to be a good review, but I wanted to shoot a few times on, um, on camera. Hit 30 yards, I'll take you out there and see my group, how good or bad it is. I'm not trying to shoot an amazing group today. I'm really just trying to see if there's any peep twist, if there's any changes between speed, uh, which could be the bow, but really just maybe a few months down the road, I'll, I'll, I'll chronograph it again and see if I've lost any feet per second. But um, so far, like I said, I'm really happy with the string, and uh, we're going to shove some arrows down, down the range real quick, and we'll see how good... I think I just drilled my arrow. Here goes arrow number one. Arrow number two. Shooting at that bottom dot down there. We'll go up and look at it after this shot. Hey everyone, I want to take this part of the video and thank you everybody for watching the videos and for those of you that have subscribed, thank you for subscribing. I set out a goal to have 300 subscribers and 100,000 views by the end of the year, which I never thought I would hit. I thought, you know, I might get 10 or 20 subscribers, all my friends and maybe my mom and stuff, but uh, we have over 330 subscribers right now and we have had over 100,000 views in just the short span since late January. Which, uh, which has far exceeded my expectations. I've had a lot of really good feedback, a lot of good questions. I've enjoyed helping some of you through messaging, um, figuring out your bows, your arrows, your broadheads, just, just really troubleshooting with you. So if you want to join the conversation farther, we have a Facebook page called Addicted to Bow Hunting. Hope to see you there, and hope to see you on the next video. Thanks, guys, and have a great day. Bye.